The term rewiring your brain has become a psychological revolution in recent times. We now know that you can literally rewire your brain by choosing the thoughts that you allow in and standing guard at the door of your mind. Thoughts stem from the ideas that you pick up in your day-to-day -day life. All it takes is one idea to interrupt your mind's pattern and to take a different course in your life. I hope I can be the catalyst for you to upgrade your 2 million year old brain software and consume a few simple ideas that will begin the rewiring process in your brain. Below are 11 ideas that will rewire your brain. 1. You're only a millimeter away from success while attending a seminar. I heard a fascinating idea, according to a well-known cosmetic surgeon, the difference between you being but ugly and a supermodel is a millimeter in a few spots of your face. That's it. Tiger Woods also explains that the difference between getting the ball close to the hole on the first shot, and hitting the ball in the water, is a millimeter either side of your swing. There are times when you might think you are a million miles away from your desired goal. Remember next time that this is false, and you are only a millimeter away from success. 2. Increase your rejection rate Asking out your dream romantic partner is nerve-wracking. What if you ruin the friendship, what if they tell everyone what you did, what if you get rejected and can't handle it? The answer to all these questions is to increase your rejection rate. If you want to hook up with a beautiful person both inside and out, there is going to be a long line of potential partners in front of you. That's perfectly okay because no one worth caring about has ever laughed at someone for having a go. Getting used to being rejected helps you to build mental muscle that will eventually get you a yes from someone that you may never have thought was in the same league as you. Poke your chest out, pop a smile on your face, and go get em, amigo. 3. Embrace the negative There are probably over a billion things that could go wrong for you every day and produce a negative experience for you. If you don't learn to embrace the negative, then you are going to be choosing to be unhappy a heck of a lot, and that is 100% your fault buddy. Reframe your brain to understand that negative experiences stop you from going down a path that is not truly in line with your goals and dreams. Negative experiences are destiny's way of moving away the boulders that lie in front of you and helping focus your mind. Because of evolution, our brains are supposed to notice more of the negative than anything else so that it can protect us from ancient predators who died millions of years ago. The negativity in your life doesn't really exist because you are the one that is labeling these experiences in such a way. Use a different language when you label a thought, and you will experience something totally new. Think to yourself, isn't it great that it's raining today? Now I get to stay inside and read a book or call my friends. 4. Don't follow others It's so easy to lack passion and follow other people instead. Stop becoming a follower and start becoming a leader. Program your brain with the idea that you are highly valuable to others and you can absorb knowledge and take action better than anyone. Coach others without even being asked to and always look for a way to help out. Learn to think on your own and draw your own opinions out of a situation. Rather than being fed by someone else's opinion, take control, and make your own decisions. 5. Drop the scarcity mindset We all think we need more of everything to get what we want and be happy. The truth is that we need less of everything, so we can give more, and be much better focused on our vision. Stop your brain from wanting dopamine hits by not giving in to wanting more all the time. There are many more people that have a whole lot less than you, so start practicing living below your means. There are enough resources on this planet for all of us, and you have significant value to give, so you will be able to harness plenty for yourself. Whenever you feel like you are in a scarcity mindset, rewire your brain by practicing a form of giving. Find one thing to give and do so straight away. After doing this, you will no longer have a scarcity mindset. 6. If you've always wanted to do it, then do it Our brain gives us 101 reasons why we can't do things that we've always wanted to do. For me, I always wanted to go to the USA and never did because I thought there was always something else that had to be done first.
When I forgot about the stupid excuses and just booked the trip so there was no turning back, my brain found ways to deal with the potential time clashes and forced me to find a way. Make a commitment to take action on the experiences that you've been longing for and stop waiting for the right time. The right time doesn't exist and it never will. There is never a good time to follow your dreams. Now is the best time to do anything and the decision lies with you. What's killing your success are the thoughts that you never let come to fruition and the goals that you keep ignoring. 7. Failure is only the beginning All success begins with failure. You don't read that in your college books now do ya? When something doesn't work out, our brains are wired to find another way. The trick is to string together as many failures as you can in the same area of your life, and if practiced enough, you'll eventually translate them all into one giant success. This is something we are never taught, and we all poo our pants at the thought of something not working out the way we had hoped. Treat your life like a science experiment, and start trying new things to see what formulas for success work for you and which ones don't work at all. 8. Action is all that matters You can read as many blogs like this as you want and you can surround yourself with raw 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 positivity. None of this will help your success. What will help your success the most is taking action on the knowledge you learn from all the different references in your life. When I say action, though, I mean immediate action, not delayed action. Delayed action is often too late, and it gives us an excuse for when we fail. Fear is what gets in the way of taking immediate action which is why you have to learn to tango with these scary moments. I get asked all the time whether entrepreneurs should ask for non-disclosure agreements when talking about their business ideas. I tell them the cold hard truth, an idea means nothing whatsoever. The value in an idea is only revealed when action is taken. I'm sure we all had the idea for Uber in the back of our minds somewhere. Only two intelligent folks decided to put in the effort and take action on a tough business. Are you going to take action or let someone else experience your success instead while you sit back and continue gaining useless knowledge? 9. You can be the catalyst for change Amazing things in the world are not created by special people who have superhuman powers. The way to rewire your brain is to understand that people just like you do extraordinary things every single day. You're one of those people, and all it takes is for you to put something out in the world that has the energy to provide value to your fellow humans. We're all just as special as each other, and your ideas are just as good as the next person's. Have faith in yourself and become the catalyst for something. 10. Love is easier to find than you think we all have days where we don't feel loved. The truth is love is everywhere around us, and we don't even need to search for it. The easiest place to find it is in a park full of puppy dogs. Puppy dogs will love you even if they have only met you for 30 seconds. Hold the door open for someone and watch the love and appreciation be reflected back to you through their eyes. Do a nice gesture for a friend and see how they can love you unconditionally. Love is not hard to find it's just that you have to give it first before you can receive it yourself. 11. Tomorrow could be your last day All those dream holidays you keep putting off could become permanent. Our brains are wired to think that we are going to live forever, but we are not. We need to wire our brains to understand that nothing is guaranteed and that we have to be happy with right now. It's too easy to keep procrastinating and never take action. Once you can truly become okay with the fact that you're not here forever, you'll find a new sense of urgency start to emerge in your life. You will no longer waste time with people you don't like. You will follow your passion every day and stop taking marching orders from everyone else. Take control of your life once and for all and stop living like you are going to live for 250 years, you're not going to.